to put food on our tables. But think of those who may not have enough food or may struggle to feed their families. And we thank God for the goodness that he brings into our lives. I hope people have brought some gifts but that we will be donating to the Rothwell Food Bank to help those in need in our community. So first we present these gifts to God. So if everyone's still got them, if you lift up, if you just lift up one item. We're just going to do a blessing.
here, which we're going to scatter across the altar. So as we scatter these leaves this morning, we remember all the wrong choices we've made, the things we did on purpose that have hurt other people, hurt ourselves and hurt God. So I invite you just to bring a handful and scatter it over the altar as a way of um, remembering those choices. Lord, we confess we are selfish, we are greedy, we are wasteful, all that you have given us. Sometimes we forget to say thank you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Sometimes we ignore the needs of others. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Sometimes we can't just be bothered to lead your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. But we are sorry and we ask that you forgive us. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we say the collect prayer for harvest together. Eternal yes, God, God, you crown the year with your goodness, and you give us fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory, for the relief of those who need, and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and raised with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So please stand with your aid as we sing the proving glory.
also does with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and that the Father sees. By your strength, you establish the mountains. You are guarded with might. You silence the roars of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at earth's farthest bound are awed by your signs. You make the gateways of the morning and of the evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with rain. Also, how you prepare it. You water its furthest furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You cow the air with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills girt themselves with joy.
on this earth, people are wondering what on earth has it got to do with harvest? So we have to give thanks for trees to come. <coughs> now Zach was a man who liked things, and he began to earn money, so he began to acquire some things. Zach liked his things. He liked them to look at them and to admire them. He wanted more.
depression, anxiety, being important, coming third. That we also find it hard to see where we're going or to reach out to others. When we share in hospitality and friendship, when we give away generously to others, as you've all done today with your amazing harvest gifts, and we're thankful for all that God has given us, then we're able to share all of God's world together with all of God's people. Amen. Thank you very much for listening. Round of applause for that. <laughs> so our next hymn, our song, is uh, an action song which you ask for the leaders in, which we should be familiar with. He's got our whole world in his hands. Which again is another popular one I think I've understand this as well. You ready to run to do your actions? Yeah, you must do the thing. Yeah, we'll do. Right. right. Please stand if you are able as we sing our next <laughs>
response is Amen. Creator God, your world is wonderful, full of delight and difference. We pray today for all who care for the world and for those who work to bring us understanding. We pray for those places where life is demanding and those living in hostile climates caused by nature or caused by human beings. <coughs> in every place bring hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Generous God, we pray today for all those who work to bring us food, and for all who speak out for those who have little food. We pray for those who will not have enough to eat today, and for all those who are working to bring help. In every place, bring your hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Healing God, we pray today for all who endure pain in mind or body, and for those who help. We pray for those working in hospitals and those in research, those whose, whose work in our community and those caring out of love. In every place, bring your hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Joyful God, we pray today for all who bring us to light and help us show praise and thanks in our daily lives. For our children and those we love, for those who entertain and those who create beauty in words and music, paint or clay, we pray that your creative life will overflow with joy. In every place, bring your hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Holy God, we pray today for the life of our church, for all who serve and all who lead. Help us to be people who share generously and speak boldly of your love. Give our leaders and our teachers wisdom and give each of us the courage we need to follow you. In every place, bring your hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. <clears throat> Loving God, we pray for ourselves, knowing that you see each of us with eyes of love. Help us to bring love, help us to love ourselves as you love us, and to reflect your image into the world around us. In my life, bring hope and healing. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. We're going to move on to the Lord's Prayer. Um, you'll notice the Lord's Prayer has actions. The actions are in the italics and in the brackets. We're going to read this from here. You can join in the actions or you can just say the prayer which suits you best. <coughs> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We're just going to do. Stop. Is it on that lady that's come on? It is. Oh, After the notices. Peter's raring to go. I'm going to let Peter go first. If this is the moment you all pray, it back goes for me too. <laughs> now, where do I start? I wasn't expecting it just yet. I am going to start, suggest we add to the prayers by starting with a prayer or a name for our prayers. Reverend Lisa suggested that we should 
try to focus our prayers from the prayer sheet on individuals that we know are of particular need. And I've just heard from Peter this morning that our friend Min has had a fall and is in hospital. And it sounds as though she's broken her hip. So I think we should remember Min and her goddaughters and family in our prayers, especially. Um, on other matters, more cheerful. Um, we had a harvest supper last night. Fantastic. And amazingly, um, we were spared. We had enough pies. Despite my best efforts, we had enough pies. Um, and I want to give a plug for uh, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Michael, the butchers, who have a branch in uh, Cross Gates and a branch now in Wakefield, who kindly provided the pies. And I think those of us who are here were there will agree the pies were fantastic. So bear in mind, we have a friend in our butcher family linked here to the church. Um, huge thank you to the stars of this morning's service who somehow, again miraculously, managed to put together a quiz um, for, the, for, 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 the, for the supper and now this wonderful act of worship this morning. Thank you very much, Charlotte, Joanne, Lynn. Thank you to Shirley who is helping with bingo. Thank you for a wonderful evening. Looking forward then, we've got, as ever, we've got Bible study uh, on Thursday. I think now it's going to be moving indoors and probably will be at John's house, but there's an email there that you can contact. Um, coming up also, we've got Messy Church, which will be not this Sunday, but the Sunday after. Um, Messy Church is a great thing. And it, you don't have to be under five to enjoy it. You just have to liberate your inner child, which Brenda is somehow still managing to do. There may well be glitter, particularly if I think I'm supposed to be leading the activities. There might be glitter at every table if I have anything to do with it. Um, we are advertising, I think, for the first time that we'll be holding our memorial service on November the 3rd at 6. Um, and this service, in case you're not familiar, is an opportunity for, you, for us to remember our lost loved ones, particularly people who may have died in the last year, but also remembering any of our family and friends that may have lost it. It's another lovely service, that's November the 6th. Sorry? Oh, it's 6pm, I got the wrong number. November the 3rd at 6, not the 6th at 3. You're right, okay. That's uh, November. Do you know what have I forgotten? No. Decorate the church. Oh, there's that, yes. I mean, you can see that. But no, seriously, thank you to all the team who were here yesterday afternoon to do a fabulous job decorating the church. And a final thank you again to all of you who have brought produce. Uh, this will find its way to the food bank uh, in Rothwell. Um, which we support round the year, in fact, but they'll be particularly delighted to have all the tin goods and some of the fresh produce that you see. I think that really is it, yes. Thank you.
So you could bring books, even bring them along in the morning, and we'll see if we can raise money with the book table. Uh, and we've got requests for donations for raffle prizes and tombola prizes, which will be going forward for the next coffee morning. Is that right, Diane? And we'll also be collecting, because we've got the British Legion of Poppy Appeal coming up in November. So I think it's another occasion when you should make sure you've got plenty of change in your pockets or your handbags. But come to the coffee morning at, at 10 o'clock next Saturday. Thank you.